renowned forensic pathologist analyzes Wyoming officials' declaration cause of death is strangulation. On the story a former prosecutor said Tuesday that the Grand Teton County coroner's ruling that Gabby Petito's homicide was caused by strangulation will likely result in a first-degree murder charge for whoever is arrested in the 22-year-old's death. You put your hands around the neck, that's an unwanted touching, that's simple battery or assault. Then you start to squeeze, your argument could be, well, I just wanted to scare them. But then you can choose to affix pressure. There's a certain amount of minimal time that someone needs to do that before somebody is dead I Glarsh said. I think there's a strong argument that if premeditation didn't exist prior to the physical contact, it certainly was developed at some point during the strangulation. Aside from the manner and cause of death, the Teton County Coroner could not release much more information about the autopsy due to Wyoming state law. Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie were involved in a domestic incident in Moab, Utah on August 12. Criminal defense attorney Stuart Kaplan said Tuesday that law enforcement likely gleaned much more information from the autopsy than it has made public and is likely able to either exclude Brian Laundrie, who has been named a person of interest in the case, or connect him to his former fiancé's death. The FBI went to Brian Laundrie's family's home in Northport, Florida, on September 26 to compare DNA. Iglaus noted that even if Laundrie's DNA is found on Petito's remains, it would have to be in unique places to implicate him since he wasn't a stranger and some of his DNA would be expected on her body. Laundrie has not been charged with a crime in Petito's death and is only a person of interest. He is wanted for an authorized use of a debit card that belonged to Petito between August 30th through September 1. Petito's remains were found on September 19th at a campground in Wyoming about three to four weeks after she was killed, which would place her death around the last week of August. The couple set out on a cross-country road trip in June, but their relationship became strained as the weeks passed, with Petito's mom telling investigators that her daughter described how there appeared to be more and more tension between her and Laundrie according to a search warrant. Petito and Laundrie were involved in a domestic incident on August 12th in Moab, Utah. A witness told police that a gentleman was slapping the girl and Petito said that Laundrie grabbed her face, but she also told officers that she slapped him. The two were separated for the night and no charges were filed. First degree murder is punishable by death or life imprisonment in Wyoming. Homicide can also result in manslaughter, second degree murder and other charges. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.